Hi, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share a little trick uh, I've just recently uh, discovered that I can do with my uh, six string banjo. This is a Korea six string banjo open back version, uh, a little uh, Chinese made thing, got from a company in Australia. Uh, when you get a guitar banjo or a git jo or a banjo guitar, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's tuned just like a guitar, E A D G B E from low to high. And uh, you end up with this kind of plonky, kind of semi guitar sound with a little bit of banjo tone in it, but it's not very realistic sounding because it sounds more like a guitar than it does in the banjo. And what happens is the lower strings on the, the banjo tend to just, because the banjo head doesn't really resonate with that heavy, uh, with the tension and stuff on it, they just, the lower notes, uh, particularly with your wound strings, just kind of go like plonk, plonk, plonk. And it can, and you can, uh, you can change your hand position, and you can do some other stuff to try to get a little more of a banjo sound out of it. But it's just a heavier, lower sound than a banjo because the bottom two strings, the A string and the low E string, are tuned way below what a banjo would normally go. So I looked at a couple of different things. There was a guy named Banjo Bill who gave me an idea of watching his video of he tuned his banjo in a way that using some other string gauges that he was able to get a different kind of tuning and a close sound, but he was mostly strumming, not finger picking. Uh, I tried uh, doing a, a Nashville tuning. If you're not familiar with Nashville tuning, it's also known as high strung tuning. And that's basically where you take the octave strings off of a 12 string set and you use those for your, your E, A, and D strings. And uh, you get a, a little bit higher uh, tone out of, out of that. Uh, oh, and, but, and also the, uh, the G string uh, on a high strung guitar, your, your, your third string, your G string, is also the top string of a 12 string set. So it's like, like a, uh, maybe it's a 10, maybe a nine. It's a very high string. And so uh, on a banjo like this, this has like a 26 or a 26 and a half inch scale. If you take a, a, a G string like that, a high G string from, uh, from a 12 string set, which is like a nine or a 10, you're extending that two inches farther than what it was designed to go. And really, truly, if you look at it, uh, the, the, a nine or a 10, that is like an E string for an electric guitar set. Uh, they're basically you can bend them and stuff and not snap, but if you tune it up to a G, you tuned it up a minor third to begin with. And so that's, uh, I mean, that's already stretched to the point. And anybody who plays 12 string on it, like I do, you know that that G string is always the one that's going to pop on you. So uh, I started thinking about a way of doing string gauges on this to make give it more of a banjo tone. And I looked at the string gauges on a medium gauge banjo set. And then I went out and bought some strings that would uh, accommodate that. And then I figured, well, that, of course, uh, the, the regular banjo has this high string, you know, off of that fifth string with that fifth string tuner that's at the fifth fret. And it's tuned up to a high G, and that gives you your drone in most of your, your banjo songs. And that's that real distinctive sound of the banjo that everybody really loves. <clears throat> well, you, again, trying to tune a string that high or something up here on a six string guitar, I said, well, that's probably not going to work. And then I've got an A string in here I've got to do something with. So playing around with some of the sets, I came up with an idea. And I may tweak the, these gauges a little bit more. But what I did, I said, tune in from uh, the low string to the high string. I said, these are, uh, the, the low E is now, it's a 10. Uh, like you'd have on your first string on, a, on a, a set. And I tune it up high just like it would be the first string. Uh, the second string is going to be a 17, a plain 17. The uh, third string is a uh, 13, plain. Uh, the G string is a 17, plain 17. Uh, the B string is a 13, and the E string is a 10. So if you look at what I've got here, basically I've got a, a 10, a 13, and a 17, and a 13, and a 17, and a 10. The way they're tuned is that the first three, st the, the first string, the first three strings rather, are tuned exactly the same way they'd be on a six string guitar. The top three strings, I've tuned an octave higher. That's why I've used those high gauges. So now it's gonna sound like this. Now if I play something like just a basic G chord, I get something that's a whole lot more banjo sounding. If I want to 
finger pick it. So now I can finger pick and I can play guitar chords. high G that you'd hear normally from that open string on the top of the regular banjo. What's really cool is now I can fret that and move it. So that sounds really cool. Uh, I can play in, you know, an unusual kind of jazzy kind of chord. Say so you're singing, you want to play a song? On a regular banjo, you're stuck playing in the key of G or you got a capo up. Oh, this, I want to play something in A. It's all unwound strings, so the tone quality across is pretty consistent. And uh, there's really not much in the way of string tension either. I had to kind of tweak the neck a little bit and adjust the uh, the rod on the inside here to be able to to uh, uh, kind of average it out a little bit. But it sounds great. It records great. Uh, anyway, I'll play a little something here, and you can uh, uh, hear what it sounds like. Uh, I'm not an expert at this. It's something I'm just kind of exploring. But it's an idea if you have a six-string uh, banjo and you want to get more of a banjo like sound out of it well this is a great way to do it again the string gauges are from low to high it's 10 13 17 13 17 10 take a look at it, see what you can come up with uh, if you have some comments or questions uh, feel free to post uh, please like and subscribe thanks for watching bye